If the PUP brought out a sea of blue for the morning's march to the complex, the UDP had an ocean. They organized in front of the party's Bell China headquarters with all the same aesthetics of a mass mobilization. Music booming from not one but two floats, signs, banners, hats, drums, dancing and singing. The mood was upbeat and the numbers were massive, a fact which became even more evident when the crowd moved off towards the complex at around 1.30. Incumbent Mayor Darrell Bradley led the way, and the ocean of red followed behind. From this vantage point, you can get a better idea about the size of the crowd which came out to support the UDP this afternoon. They sang and shouted and danced in the streets, and especially close to the floats complete with towering speakers and DJs, the atmosphere was like that of a carnival fete. To play it safe with the numbers again, we'll just say that the crowd easily tripled that of the PUP. Police say that at its peak, it neared 2,500. As the municipal team did its official business inside the complex, the bigger players in central government, including UDP leader Dean Barrow and Colette Area Rep Patrick Faber, were outside taking care of business. I have not been able to make an assessment so that I don't have a guesstimate as to the exact number, but it is clear that it's a huge turnout and that is extremely satisfactory, extremely encouraging. Well, the leader of the opposition this morning said that he had 2,000 while the media counted hundreds. Um, you will not make such an exorbitant claim that maybe we have 5,000 and maybe we said a little over 1,000. Well, I just said I am unable to tell you about the number or anything close to it because I have not had a chance to assess it. All I know is, I repeat, that it's a huge turnout. What we did this afternoon is to just, we, we had a box, we had a, a truck, and that's all the monies that we have spent and our people voluntarily came out here this afternoon because, as my colleague has said, they support the United Democratic Party. They have seen the work of Darrell Bradley and the UDP City Council, and they want to uh, make sure that that continues. So that is why they're here. Incumbent Mayor Darrell Bradley, done with the official business inside, said that the crowd speaks for itself, and the support shown for the party this afternoon is both energizing and gratifying. My heart is 100% in being an effective mayor, both finishing up in the term and then also going into a new term should that be the wish of the voters with uh, renewed energy, a sense of purpose, new ideas, new vigor to do increasing amounts of work, particularly infrastructure in Belize City for the benefit of residents. So we're in it. It's very electrifying being out here today. The team is very unified. We're going to very shortly um, do more work in terms of releasing the manifesto full-fledged so that people can be discussing some of the new ideas that we are proposing going into the new municipal term and we're very energized. The mayor and his team have become known for unprecedented work in the city, but he says that they have more magic planned if the people of Belize City give them another term. Right now I did a tour over the last week to look at about 35 streets that we're upgrading. We're not cementing, we're not asphalting, but we're bringing them to what we call prepare status. That is as a result of our prudent fiscal management. So that when we're paying off debt, that increases the cash flow. This weekend, we're going to have a one-year anniversary of BTL Park. That's, a, that's an event, that's a, a project that's been very successful. We've been able to attract sponsorship for that. We are working with international projects like Carrelled. They're supporting us with getting Memorial Park on stream, they're giving us a grant, a small grant, but a grant nonetheless, to be able to do those things. So that when you have a plan, when you have a vision, when you have people with character, you tend to attract resources. And we believe that we can duplicate a lot of the projects that we do, did in the first term, going into the second term. And with the showing today, this UDP municipal team is extremely confident that it will be returned to office. Mike Rodon for News 5.